Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Infected. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded any, so I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I know we have Swarm Night tonight. Um, we do have our better tools, so I think in the last episode we built this portion, we got our better tools. Um, yeah, our Horde Night is upon us now, so hopefully everything has been repaired and we don't take any significant damage. That would be nice. Um, just before the swarm started, we had a van be run completely through a brand new spike. I don't like that feature. I don't like that they can do that. I don't understand how you can destroy a brand new, completely full spike with one hit. Just run through it. I don't understand that, but it is what it is. I did put a few spikes around the platform over here too, just to keep the Bambies from being too interested in that. So hopefully we can just go ahead and get these guys killed out really quickly. Hopefully they'll just die on the spikes. That would also be nice. And we don't have any major, major issues here. I'm not quite sure where these guys are, but ooh, there they are. They're over. Okay. Okay. And now I'm thirsty. I think you're just going to have to deal with that, Cancer. Just for a little bit longer. Okay, so that was two of the Vambies. Here comes a blue shirt guy. I'm not quite sure why he decides to run all the way over there. Instead of, you know, attacking me spikes and me standing on them. I'm not quite sure what's up with the AI with this, these guys. There's one way up here. I assume he's coming all the way over here to these spikes as well. I guess I should just come over here to these spikes also. That is not a Vandy. Okay, so we didn't really have to kill anyone. The spikes did the work for us. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest these guys. I hear you. I oh, know, you're very, very thirsty. But let's pick this up in the morning. Hopefully it's it'll be a little bit brighter. We can see what's going on. Okay, so we're up and at it again. It is early morning. We probably should have a little bit of food eventually. I'm just picking up some sticks and things. I'm going to try to repair whatever they damaged over here. Uh, if we have enough sticks for that. I'm not quite sure. I think they really focused on just two of the trap or the spikes. Um, yeah, I don't think they did a lot of damage over here. I don't think they did any damage to any of the railings, which is nice. I didn't want them to take any damage. I didn't want them to do any damage at all. So that happened, and now we can focus on what we're doing here. I want to attempt, and I don't know if I have everything to do that with. Probably not. But I want to see what it takes to make the circular saw bench. Just because we don't have that yet. And I would like to see what it takes to make that. Uh, while I'm moving planks over, I just want to talk to you guys about... Uh, we have, this week, reached 400 subscribers. Very, very thankful. Cannot thank you guys enough for that. Um, if you are interested in a gift card giveaway... I will be doing a virtual gift card on Steam. Um, it will be given away uh, probably next week. Uh, if you're not aware already, these videos for this week are all pre-recorded. Um, I am with my family. We are uh, working on the new house, trying to get some of that stuff done. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on this week. My dad and my brother are on vacation. My husband, of course, could not get on vacation this week. Um, he has got some some new things coming up with his work. He's getting, you know, a promotion in order. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited. And his hard work is definitely paying off. But, uh, yeah, all of these videos are pre-recorded this week. And I'm very, very thankful for you guys for helping me get to the 400 subscriber mark. Um with the gift card, the only requirements are you have Discord, first of all, and you have a Steam account. That is very important. I cannot give you a Steam gift card if you don't have a Steam account. So you have to have that and Discord. 
if you would like to win or be entered into the drawing for the gift card, you must um, leave me a hashtag something in the comment section down below. Um, it doesn't matter what you leave. Hashtag KGG, hashtag 400, hashtag whatever. Or hashtag hi. I don't even care. Uh, the hashtag lets me know that you're interested in the gift card giveaway. Uh, we've decided to do a gift card this time simply because the last time we did games and uh, someone that won the game actually had all the games or wasn't interested in any, you know, the other game that he didn't have. And he decided to pass that along. This way he would have had the opportunity to purchase a game that he didn't already have. So with that, we're going to attempt to do the gift card this time. Hopefully you guys will be patient with me while we both work this out and figure it out. Um, I do think this will be better for you guys and better for me as well. Um, that way you guys can do your own thing with whatever you, you uh, decide to buy with the gift card. Um, let's get in here and get our tools back. I do want to see what it takes to make the circular saw bench. I've already mentioned that once, but I know uh, I will forget it if I don't keep talking about it. Okay, come on. Get in the hole. Um, circular saw bench. Let's go ahead and turn the light off in here. We don't need it on right now. Um, let's go ahead and have a little look-see and see what we need here. Placeables. Circular saw bench. We need two cobalt. We have it. Um, four mechanical parts. We can make those with iron. Four electrical parts. Do we have four electrical parts, guys? We do. Um, let's go ahead and take this as well. What else do we need for the circular saw bench? Placeables. Electrical parts. Four mechanical parts. Four cobalt and iron ingot eight we probably don't have the iron ingots but that's not a huge huge deal we can make those relatively quickly with that let's get up here and get these guys going in the forge uh, let's see if we have enough iron to make four mechanical parts i did move the forges up here yesterday while we were waiting on the horde last night um, I just want to have the crafting stations all up here. Um, the circular saw bench will probably have to be left down here unless we decide to do the kitchen down here. Confirm. Confirm. Please don't tear up my spikes. <sighs> I don't know why these guys are dying so quickly on the spikes. I do have the difficulty in each item reduced by one uh, level. So uh, the bears are not at 300 hit points. They are whatever the next level down is. Uh, that's one of the reasons why you guys have been saying that I've been killing them with one hit. That is why, or one arrow. That's why I've been doing that. Um, it's purely for, you know game and recording reasons it's not that i don't think i can kill them although i probably would have died several more times uh, that's not the issue um, i just don't like to be out you know spending all day killing an animal so there's that um circular saw bench could go back here you know right here on this wall let's just have a little look see circular saw bench placeable circular saw bench um that's the direction it needs to be. Can we do this little number like right here? I don't know why. Well, if I had my fingers in the right place, this would have been a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and throw everything we have in here. And let's see if we can move these guys out here. Just place them right against these other... Um, things when they get built it'll all look like it's one item really do enjoy that I enjoy that we can place these guys so extremely close together now let's keep taking these guys outside sorry I need to pick one up first before I can move it let's get you placed right here and 
get you out here as well. I don't want a huge base here. So being able to place these guys out here on the back porch is nice. Okay, let's get you placed right here. Okay. Very nice. We need the iron ingots now. Let's go ahead and close the front door. We don't want anyone breaching uh, the base. Let's go ahead and grab these guys and get down here. Okay, let's get some oil, get this cart out, get it filled up. I think we can use biofuel in that as well. I'm not 100% sure on the biofuel, but hopefully we can use biofuel there. What's in this road up here? Is that a dead bird? Dead pigeon. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Um, you and you as well. And you and you also. Okay, let's get back into the base and drop these in the circular saw bench. Very, very excited to have that done. Uh, we had our swarm, so that was nice. Um, let's just go ahead and fill up the saw bench. I'm going to have to move some of the log stands back here, potentially all along this area. Um, we can move this back out here. Put another tree inside and we'll have a full stack of wood for the saw bench. Let's go ahead and grab our axe. Go ahead and get this cart filled back up. We'll get some biofuel on the way back into the base. Okay. And you go in there as well. Not horrible. Not horrible at all. Having this done is wonderful, guys. Very, very excited about it. Whoa, whoa. Don't want to drop that off the edge, that's for sure. Okay, let's get some biofuel. Hopefully we can use that. I hope we don't need oil cans. Um, biofuel, we do need oil cans. That is not good. We need the oil extractor. Did we get that? already in the tech. I'm going to have to check out the tech. See what we do have in there. Let's go ahead and get you in here. And it'll just do its thing and it's so much quicker. It's more productive because it gives you more planks per log. We get four planks per log now instead of two. I'm just going to move these over and we'll let it do its thing. We don't have to watch it or babysit it now. Very, very lovely. Um, let's get out and just pick up whatever we have that we can get out here. Um, I know we should have plenty of stone here. Let's go ahead and take these guys. Get this crate upstairs. We, after we moved everything up here, it's just nicer to have everything together. Okay, so we can start with some stone here. Go ahead and fill you up as well. And we'll get you started. Just drop these few um, bark chips in there. And let that go and do its thing. And yeah, I think pretty soon we should be able to start on some glass work out here. And start on the, uh, the greenhouse. We do need the water house first. I would love to get that done. Because we are going to be needing the water for the greenhouse. You know, we can turn that on and we don't have to worry about going in and watering all the plants. Um, it will do that for us. There's a dead animal over here as well. Whoa, dear. Not cool. No need to trample the wildlife here that's already dead. Uh, we are overheating. Okay, let's get into the base. I guess we're in summer now. We are in July. Let's cool off underneath the water a bit. Hopefully that helps. Um, 
let's see if we can get in the base and put on some cooling clothing we're gonna have to craft some of that I think we need some what do we need for some clothing here I know we're really struggling we are taking some um, risks Itempedia, food and drink, armor and clothing. We need the t-shirt, which is three cloth. No, we need the cooling shirt, which is four cloth. Let's just take the cloth with us. And where's that made? Is it made on the loom? No. It must be made on the workbench. Okay, hey, cooling clothing. Okay, that should help a tiny bit, the cooling shirt. Let's see what it takes to make the pants. Um, yeah, I don't like the overheating. It does drain your water a lot quicker. Cargo pants is six cloth. We have five cloth. What does it take to make a piece of cloth? Itempedia, bulk items, cloth. 15 plant fiber, 25 bark chips. 15 plant fiber. I just need five more. I already had some on my inventory. I didn't realize. 15 and 25. Let's split you in half and you in half again. Let's take you. Let's gather everything back up like it needs to be. Come on, you can do this. And let's get up here and make some cloth on the loom. I think we have to make it on the loom. And then we can go ahead and get our cargo pants crafted. Okay, um, six pieces of cloth. Cargo pants, very lovely. Go ahead and switch out these items. We do need the um, iron fragments so that we can upgrade some spikes now, hopefully. Let's go ahead and get these guys filled up again. We didn't have too many stone um, to put back, so that was nice. Um, let's see, what do we need? A drink of water, potentially. Let's go ahead and have some. Probably need a little bit of food as well. Let's go ahead and do some of that also. Eat and eat. Do we need more protein? It wouldn't hurt us, but I think we'll be okay for the time being. Um, let's have some carbs here. These baked potatoes are giving us a tiny bit of carbs. The regular potatoes probably will give us just a few more. We have a couple of cucumbers. We can also eat for a few vitamins. The corn gives you 10 vitamins. The cucumbers also give you 10 vitamins. So that's nice. Um, we'll have another little sip of water. We'll fill up our fire outside. Get that going as well. Um, actually, it is already going. That's not cool. I didn't mean to leave that going. But that's okay. It'll burn out. We can always add more um, fuel to the fire over here. Um, no sticks there. Let's get out check on the saw bench. Okay, it is empty. Let's go ahead and get all of this switched over. We're going to be needing to uh, do a bit more building, uh, especially as far as the um, storage crates and things are concerned. We need a storage rack. We need... Um, the greenhouse as well. I would like to get that up and going eventually. So we're going to be needing the planks. It's not a big deal. Um, these crates are empty over here. These crates have mostly ore in them. They need to be taken upstairs, which means that I do need a storage rack up here. Uh, the only issue with that is we are out of room up here. I did build myself a um, rack for the um, iron. I had too much of that in my inventory and nowhere really to put it. Let's go ahead and fill these up again and repeat the process, guys. This is basically what I do off camera. I keep all of these things going, um, just continually over and over checking on these items. 
making sure that they don't need to be refilled. And if they do, I just go ahead and do that. Let's take the fragments downstairs. Let's drop off our stuff in our inventory. We don't need a ton of things in our inventory right now. Let's put the cloth away. We have several feathers. Uh, several sticks as well. Let's go ahead and drop those off over here. Fragments. We don't need them on us. We can put the arrows into our inventory. I want to try to get enough feathers to make a full stack of the bone arrows. So I'm just still continuing to use these stone ones for now because I don't really mind the stone arrows, but I would love to have the bone arrows done at some point. They don't break um, nearly as much or any at all. I don't think they actually break at all. Uh, we still have some clay here being um, extracted from the ground. Let's get some biofuel. We're going to need it to fill this up. Uh, bottom crate. And let's keep these things going. Split one. Put two in here. And it doesn't overfill them, which is what I like about it. Uh, let's turn these guys on again. Get the clay going again. Okay, there's a stick down here I'm trying to get. I need to make myself a few more of the carbs and things. So let's go ahead and drop this stuff on the ground. Harvest you. Put the seed back in here. Let's harvest you as well. Drop you back in here. We need the carbs and the vitamins as well. So I'm going to try to get all of these items done. Harvest you and plant you again. And let the rain take care of the watering process. That's why I haven't been really working on the greenhouse yet. We should have a couple of cans up here. We did get a couple more. We have our food prep table just here. I uh, need to go ahead and harvest this melon. Okay, so now we're ready for this. Let's go ahead and get our can. Fruit salad. Let's craft another one of those. Let's do the vegetables or the veggie salad. And one more. Very nice. We can put these items away in here. Not a big deal. And I think we're doing pretty well, guys. Very, very excited about this. Okay. Um, now that we have that done, it's 119 in a day. Let's get over to the extractor. We have two biofuel on us. Hopefully we wouldn't need more than that to keep it going. Let's get over here and just have a little look and see how it's doing. Very hopeful that we have some copper over here. Um, some of you did mention that I placed the, uh, the one in the northern area in the wrong direction or in the wrong place. That's okay. We got that moved to the aluminum cave now, I think it is. We've been up there. We harvested the aluminum from there. Ooh, very nice. Let's take this stuff and turn this back on. Come on. Oh, dear. We are super, super heavy. Oh, dear. Very, very, very heavy indeed. Okay, I think if we craft some sand... It will make it lighter for us. Let's go ahead and craft a bunch of this and just get our weight down so that we can get back home. Okay, I think that's good. We shouldn't have an issue now getting home. I do want to get the bow out in case there's a bear over here. I like the fact that the running sound changes if you put the bow up versus getting it out. Yeah, it seems like he runs a bit faster with it 
with the bow in his hand. Okay, let's get in here. Put all of these ores away. Okay, I'm going to have to get a copper crate. Very, very nice. Very excited about having all of these um, ores ready to go. Iron ore. We do have a couple more copper over here. We can put in that crate as well. We're going to have to get out and hopefully get another extractor placed in the cobalt um, cave to the uh, right hand side of us to the east. Um, I think some of you have mentioned this is cobalt. Um, the aluminum cave is here and hopefully that's what we need. We can always place more than one of these extractors per cave if we need to. Okay, let's get up here and drop the sand off in this crate. And we have some um, clay in here as well. If you're not aware, you just place 10 clay soil on the workbench and it gives you 10 clay in return. Um, for the new players, I always forget that we have new players coming in the channel all the time. Very excited about that. And I'm trying to remember to explain things a bit better for those guys. Let's go ahead and take this, fill up the forge again, just keeping this going guys. Uh, I do think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, and I'm just going to keep working on the forges, making sure we have everything we need. I uh, do want to get back out and hopefully get the um, mineral extractor in the cobalt cave. We might do that in the next episode or two. And hopefully we can get um, out to another town, get a few more tech books. That would be lovely. I meant to check that with you guys before we left. We have the loom, we have the lamp, we have the stove, we have the oil extractor technology, but we need power for that. We have the advanced workbench and we have the circular saw bench as well as power technology, which is just the uh, junction box if I remember correctly. And we have the oil pump technology, which we also need power for. The oil pump keeps you from needing to place the biofuel into the extractors and things like that. It's very lovely to have, but it's pretty much an end game type item. Um, it's one of the last things that you would work on building, but it is what it is. And we will hopefully get that done at some point, guys. Um, I do think we're going to head out to another town pretty soon. We're going to work on getting um, some more technology, get some more things crafted, get another... Um, extractor and another cave hopefully the cobalt cave next and for now guys I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well I hope you enjoyed this episode I hope you're looking forward to future episodes and I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one until then have yourselves a wonderful wonderful day